Life as Geek Guy. On this channel, I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials, and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate, and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I would love for you to join the Geek Guy family. And if you're returning here to my channel, then welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look that I have going on right here. For this look, I use the Natasha Denona Sunset Eyeshadow Palette. I know this eyeshadow palette has been out for a little while now, but I haven't actually done a dedicated tutorial using this palette here on my channel, so that is what I will be doing today. As you all well may know, Natasha Denona is a very pricey brand, and having said that, the shadows in this palette are beautiful, blendable, buttery, and everything that you would expect a palette of this price caliber to be. So this palette I believe retails for 180 Australian dollars and as you will see throughout the video it applies very beautifully and pigmentedly and blends out beautifully to the eyes. Having said that, there is a dupe for this eyeshadow palette already out on the market and I do believe that that is the eyeshadow palette created by ColourPop called Yes Please. I do not actually own that ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow palette but I'm going to leave a photo of it right up here so you can see exactly what it looks like. I do believe that that ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadow palette is very affordable being ColourPop obviously and it is almost an exact dupe for the shades in this eyeshadow palette here by Natasha Denona. So I just wanted to offer that affordable option here for you guys. I did buy this palette with my own money so I thought why not use it here on my channel? It'd be silly to have it and not use it. So yeah, if you want to see how I came up with this eyeshadow look then just keep on watching. Before I go any further, if you guys do enjoy my content then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already. I do put new videos out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my future uploads. You can also follow me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. All of them are Life as Geek Guys. And without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. I'm going to start by priming my eyelids with the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Now I'm going to take this peachy shade in the palette and use that to start building up my crease and transition. to go into this orangey brown shade Horizon here and start blending that very directly into my crease but not blowing it out as much as I did that first shade. Next I'm going to take this shade Sinai and blend that in the same spot that I did that burnt orange color called Horizon. As you can see I'm starting with the lightest color and slowly going deeper and deeper in shades and just building and blending up those colors in my transition. Taking a finer and smaller tipped blending brush, I'm now going to go into the next deeper shade, which is this shade here called Terra. And I'm going to take that and apply that very tightly into my crease and not blend it out as much as I did all those other colors. I'm going to blend that shade Terra just up a little bit further here just to give my eye a bit more shape and dimension. Taking that fluffier blending brush, I'm just going to blend out those edges. I'm now going to continue to deepen up this look using the shade Volcano and further smoke out the eye. Just a lot of blending work here. It takes a lot of patience and a lot of blending. made our way to the deeper shade of brown. I'm going to take that and focus that very tightly just on the outer corner of my eye to start giving myself a little bit more depth and smokiness. <laughs> And I'm just going to clean up all that fallout under the eyes with a face wipe and at the same time giving myself a little bit of a sharp edge. Oh my, can you hear the thunder? And because I'm going to cut my crease, I kind of want to clean up a little bit of that eyeshadow that has fallen on my actual eyelid. And I want the gold that I'm going to be applying on top to stand out a whole lot more. So I'm going to clean a bit of that eyeshadow where I'm going to apply my cut crease. I'm 
I'm now going to cut my crease with the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer. And over the top of that concealer, I'm going to apply a very generous serving of this gold shade here. Now I'm going to go into this golden orange shade here and use this to sort of... Um, I'm just going to apply that right here. Just to give myself a little bit more color. You know? Speaking of color, I'm going to take some of that deep burgundy shade there and use that to sort of blend in the gold and the deeper outer edge. I want to take some of this shimmery orangey shade here and apply that to the center of my eyelids like right here And that's pretty For primer, I'm just going to go in with the Mecca Cosmetica Smoothing Primer foundation, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Desert Beige. I know, it's something different other than my L'Oreal Infallible. I know. Is it shocking? <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with a bit of that. And blend that in with my Morphe Beauty Sponge. Contour the face, I'm going to be using my model's preferred contour stick. And to blend that contour in, I'm going to be using my Morphe M439 blending brush. Concealer, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal 24 Hour Concealer Pomade. Probably a bit bright for me. The, the thing with this concealer is a little bit goes a very long way. I barely dipped that in there and now I look like a ghost under the eyes. <laughs> Down, I'm going to be going in with my RCMA translucent no color powder and I'm going to bake a little bit with this as well Looking quite delightful right now <laughs> While I'm waiting for that bake to set I'm going to finish off the eyes and I'm going to go in with the ColourPop cream gel eyeliner in the shade dirty talk and apply that in my waterline a beautiful golden eyeliner that will match really really well with this look I'm now going to start blending out all those shades under my eyes as well first starting with a light shade then the next deep then the next deep then the next deep then the next deep browns <laughs> and then finishing off with the deep burgundy under the lower lash line does that make sense I hope so This shimmery white shade as a bit of underbrow highlight. Okay, now I'm gonna kick off that bake. For 
bronzer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline City Bronzer and warm up my cheeks with that. And for blush, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette. And I'm just going to be taking these four matte shades here, tapping off the excess, and then building that up in the place where I almost exactly where I applied my bronzer, but a little bit higher up. I've been really enjoying applying my blush in this way. So I'm just sort of going to blend this out really lightly in the same place where I applied my bronzer. So pretty. I love it applied that way. Before I highlight, I'm going to dampen my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. And while my face is still slightly damp, I'm going to highlight with the Ofra Cosmetics Highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive. I want to give my face a little bit more of a luminescent glow, so I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Just go in with a big face powder brush and just very lightly dab this all over the all over my face. And I'm going to melt all of that in again with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. finish off the eyes with eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back and I'm back it's quite amazing what eyeliner and a decent coat of mascara can do for a look I know this look would probably benefit from a pair of really fluffy falsies but um, I don't have any and we all love a relatable youtuber right who doesn't apply falsies with every single look right right at least that's what I tell myself <laughs> I think an ombre lip would look really, really good with this look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the base of the Ofra Cosmetics Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Havana Nights. And then on the center of my lips, I'm going to tap in the shade Miami Fever, also by Ofra Cosmetics. you guys I hope you enjoyed it again this palette by Natasha Denona is beautiful it's blendable it's buttery it is freaking high-end and again don't forget you guys that there is an affordable option out there for every single shade in this palette I'm gonna leave the link down below to that ColourPop eyeshadow palette if it is still available it's called yes please if you want to get a dupe for this eyeshadow palette in a more affordable price range then definitely go check out that eyeshadow palette by ColourPop I don't regret buying this Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette I just wish I did get more use out of it you definitely get what you pay for and buying a Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette is definitely an investment towards your makeup collection and will help you in your makeup application journey so again what you pay for you get ColourPop eyeshadows are very very beautiful and very very blendable but again this is Natasha Denona the price tag calls for high quality and I know Natasha Denona is one of those brands that delivers on quality as well as the price tag you're paying for so yeah that's it for this video guys if you did enjoy it then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already I do put new videos out every Monday Wednesday and Friday so you can turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those future uploads you can also follow me on my social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are life as geek guy thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here i really truly appreciate that you've chosen to spend your time here with me today and i'll see you guys in my next video bye i'm going to start by priming my eyelids with it <laughs> a little bit more shape and dimension this makes me smile okay for my foundation base i'm going to go in my for foundation base, I'm going to go in with, and I'm going to blend the thunder is really loud. I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm looking, I'm looking quite delightful and cake-like at the moment. Again, I, I don't regret, I don't regret buying 
for bronzer and gumdi. 